Rick, Vicki, this is a big deal because most polls up to this point have put Democrat Andy Beshear ahead. Now, there have been some misfires on polling in recent years that have some questioning their validity in the digital era, but there's no doubt Republican Daniel Cameron was happy to see this latest one. At a campaign stop in Shelby County Friday morning, Republican Daniel Cameron celebrated the news. We've been saying all along that this race is not only winnable, but that we are going to win. And we just saw a poll today that shows that it's tied 47 to 47. The new Emerson College poll shows Cameron's share of the votes surged in the past month from 33% to 47%, while Democrat Andy Bashir dropped two points from 49% to 47%. On November 7th, Kentucky will have a new governor, one who will stand up and fight back against Joe Biden, not one that will endorse Joe Biden, which is what Andy Bashir has done. This comes after five debates, including one on WLKY News and a shift in Cameron's advertising strategy focusing more on his endorsement from former President Donald Trump and Bashir's links to President Joe Biden. Bashir has also been campaigning heavily with a statewide bus tour. On Thursday, he appeared at UofL with rapper Jack Harlow. <laughs> Friday, Bashir visited Teamsters outside a UPS facility in Louisville. Folks, it's football season. And for the first time in Kentucky history, you can bet on it if you want to. <laughs> But we know when you're on a historic win streak, you don't fire the coach. No. You don't sub out the quarterback. A poll conducted on October 18th and 19th by the conservative Bluegrass Freedom Action Pack had Bashir ahead two points. An internal polling conducted on October 14th through 16th by the Bashir campaign had him up by eight points. Creating opportunities for my kids and other people's kids and grandkids. That's what it's all supposed to be about. And I think we're going to show them how it's done in Kentucky. <laughs> Now, I've talked to some political operatives who think the polling sample that had Cameron behind 16 points was flawed. So they think there might not have been a big surge, but rather the race has been close all along. I guess we'll see next Tuesday with the ultimate poll, Election Day. Yeah. Exactly. Who's going to win this race? Well, there's a path to victory for both of them. I mean, in Kentucky, you've got 40 or 75,000, actually, more registered Republicans than Democrats. So Cameron's got that. Bashir has the power of incumbency. The wild cards here are probably that the swing voters and the 350,000 independent voters that we have in the state. Mm.